exactly what you want to see. Let's run this puppy in. Score a touchdown and tie this game. Life, run for your life, touchdown on one play. Worked on this in practice. Touchdown. It's up to Kelvin Benjamin. This is all you, buddy. Kelvin Benjamin for a touchdown. Oh, he toasted his man. Holmes toasted his man. Spin move. Oh! Oh! What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the Water Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the Chicago Cougars relocation franchise here on MLB The Show 22. That's right, we are back and we are continuing season number two and today's video is the biggest of the season. Every year this video is the biggest, except for when we get to the postseason, but we haven't made the postseason yet. We didn't make it in year number one. We're not going to make it in year number two. This video is the biggest. It is the draft today. The MLB draft is today in this episode. We will do that first. Then we've got two, count them, two minor league games in this video. We will do triple A. We will do double A. We will get a prospect review i guess you could say or a prospect spotlight on some of our top farm system guys in the minor leagues in this episode so that's what this episode is going to be it's going to be absolutely filled to the brim with content i hope you guys are excited get your popcorn because it's going to be crazy smash that like button if you go on to enjoy hit that notification bell subscribe to the channel join the juice club let's get right into it okay so here we are we are at may 31st the draft is in one day and as you can see from the league update, the AOS division is not really in our favor. We are 26 and 29. Now, going into this season, I thought we were going to be a little bit better than we were last year because I added a lot of good pieces, a lot of good young pieces. But it's not really the, the lineup that's struggling. I think it's the pitching rotation. And as we saw in the absolute just utter collapse that I had in the last episode with Chad McAlpin, we're going to get another showing with Chad McAlpin. That's not the only time he'll get to pitch in the major leagues. He is 0-3 with a 6.75 ERA, so our pitching is not really doing that great. Except for James Caprillion. He's really pitching great. He's really doing a good job. The lineup is not really that bad. I think the lineup has got potential. They're just super young. But that's not the problem. The problem is we're still bad. And we've still got some old pieces that we can move on from. We've got Sean Murphy. We've got Mike Clevenger, who was only brought in in free agency this past offseason to be a trade piece. And he has sucked since we brought him in. We've got Chad Green. If we go into the budget, we have some pieces that I talked about in the last episode that I'm going to be trading, selling off in this video. Because, actually not in this video, in next video. That's going to be the trade deadline and all that stuff. So that's going to be a massive video as well. Because we're going to be trading James uh, Mike Clevenger. We're going to be trading probably Chad Green. We're going to be trading Whit Merrifield. Probably trading Ramon Laureano as well. Maybe even AJ Minter. No, probably not AJ Minter. But we're going to be freeing up a lot of cap space in this next episode after this one. Because we are a complete selling team. We are not going to make the postseason. If you take a look at the standings, I mean, we're eight games back. And we just, we're not a very good team. Our pitching is not where I want it to be. So we might as well just fight for a, a top draft pick like we did last season. Because it's just not going to work out. Now, speaking of draft picks. I, I have... I've done a, a, a decent draft board this time. I did a lot better. I'm very proud of myself. I did a lot better at scouting this season than I did last year. So if you take a look, I've got the MLB 22 uh, Cougars draft board right on my phone. You probably can't see any of the names, but I've got the draft board right here on my phone of prospects that I'm targeting for this draft. I've done my homework, ladies and gentlemen. Look at all this scouting that, that has been done here. All of this scouting is gonna come in handy. I think almost everybody is at least halfway, maybe a little bit under halfway scouted. So we are gonna be in a good spot for this draft. Last year's draft was, I guess, frankly, you could say it's a it was a bust. I mean, we got a decent young pitcher, but he's so far away from being ready. Uh, if I can find him here, where'd he go? Here he is, Luis McDonald. I mean, look at these stats in double in double A. He's 0-4 in seven starts. 
He's got a 4.86 ERA. His whip is high. He's he's just so raw, but he's got the potential. So it's going to take him a while to get there. He was our number one overall pick. We also drafted, I think, this dude, Damon Cruz. And he's been producing pretty well. He's not a power hitter. He's certainly not a power hitter. But he's been producing pretty well. Who else did we draft? I'd have to go back and watch that video to make sure. Did we draft Carlton Raymond? I don't think we did. But he's been playing pretty well. I can't remember exactly who we drafted. It might have been Carlo Perez. Somebody. I know for a fact that it was... That it was you and then Damon Cruz, I'm pretty sure, was also there. But you were our number one pick, Lewis McDonald. So we've got to be better than what we were last season, which is why I've got the draft board on my phone. I've got some scouting done. I've got some prospects in mind. There are some really good prospects in this class. I am very excited about the, the potential of drafting some of these guys. If I take a, if I take a look at Robert Suzuki, because that's who I was talking about as my go-to prospect here. He looks absolutely amazing. I mean, look at these numbers. He's fully scouted. He is a stud. And we're going to draft a, a blue chipper prospect because we have, a, I think, a top five pick, maybe top six pick. And there is a ton of blue chip prospects in here. But Robert Suzuki, out of everybody, is probably my favorite. I mean, there are guys that are better, like Felix Huerta. He's probably going to be better, I guess, better than Robert Suzuki, but he's a closing pitcher. And Robert Suzuki looks like a stud. He looks like an absolute beast. And plus, he's ready in 2025. So that is a big time plus. There's also this guy, Damon Gatlin, who is on my board. If Robert Suzuki somehow gets taken, Robert Gatlin also looks really good. He doesn't throw as hard as Suzuki does. Suzuki reaches 98. But Damian Gatlin also looks pretty good. Then I think I also have... Who else is there that I have projected out here? I guess I could take a look at my my board. I have uh, Raul Cabrera. Where is he at? Here he is. Oops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Raul Cabrera, he's projected 2027 20, plus, but he also looks very, very good. So for, if for some reason my blue chipper go-to guys are gone then I'm going to be looking for another guy. We're going to draft a blue chip prospect. That's just guaranteed. But I want to show you guys someone that I am very, very excited about. I am very excited about Tarahito Taguchi. He looks amazing. He's ready in 2024. He's 80 potential, 75 overall. Now, he's not fully scouted, so these numbers could fluctuate a little bit. But as of right now, Taguchi looks amazing and he's a very versatile guy he can play all the outfield plus second base and third base he looks freaking amazing and then there was one other player that looked really good that i gotta try and find i don't remember exactly what his name is i did this big board a little bit earlier i mean maybe it was jesus i mean jesus encarnacion looks pretty good if he's still there we might take him the only thing I'm worried about is he's not fully scouted, so those numbers might not be as good as what they look like there. But if he's there in the second round, I would be a fool not to take a flyer on him. Because he looks good from what I've from what I've seen. Giancarlo Villanueva also looks pretty decent. He's pretty scouted. Rick Rose is good. All the catchers are pretty young. They're pretty raw. There's really not anybody that's going to be ready in 2025 so if we're looking for a catcher which we we could be in the market for a catcher because uh sean murphy is pretty pretty much out the door at this point but i'm, I'm really looking robert suzuki i think he's going to be one of the best prospects in this class he looks really really good i've i've taken a look at all these guys and i've gone through i've got some of them on my board i've taken a look at them I think that Robert Suzuki just has the best upside out of all these guys, especially because he's ready in 2025, and a lot of these other guys are going to take a long time, and I can't really wait because our other prospect is going to take a long time to develop too. So I can't have two pitchers in back-to-back -back years that are going to take so long to get here. So, especially when we need pitching so badly. So Robert Suzuki's probably going to be the guy, but I've got some players on here that look really, really good. So let's get through... May 23rd or May uh, 31st, Jonah Bride's no longer injured. That is perfect. And today is the 2023 first year player draft. I would like to go to the draft. We have pick four in this year's draft. That is beautiful. So the Pittsburgh Pirates are up first. 
All right, so two starting pitchers and a shortstop go. Vladimir Samuels, he's going to be ready in 2027 plus starting pitcher from Cuba. He looks decent, but he's going to take a while. He's probably going to be a very low overall. Then you got Felipe Hernandez, also ready in 2027 plus. He's going to take a while. He looks he looks okay. I mean, I wouldn't have taken number two. And then Teddy Rodriguez, also ready in 2027 plus. He looks probably better than Vladimir Samuels, maybe? Uh, I mean, Vladimir throws harder. I don't know. It's kind of a toss up on who I think would be who I think is better there. But now we are up and we've got the pick of the litter, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take a Ooh, no, not not you. I got a sort. That's close. That was a bad almost a bad thing. Okay, so we've got all of our blue chippers here. We've got the pick of the litter. Who are we going to take? And it, it's got to be Robert Suzuki, right? I mean, he just looks the best. I mean, obviously Felix Hereta is going to be a beast. He's going to be an absolute stud. It's just a a, a fact. But Robert Suzuki looks amazing. And he can develop. He could be a stud. Robert Suzuki could certainly be a stud. And he looks better than all these other guys. Especially because they're already super late. And I want a guy that is ready pretty soon. So Robert Suzuki is going to be our first pick. He's a blue chipper. Cha-ching. Robert Suzuki, welcome to the Chicago Cougars. And we have a competitive balance round pick. Okay, I didn't even know that we were going to have this, so this helps us out. Uh, is there any blue chippers left? No blue chippers left, so we can't get a two-for-one deal. Now, some of the other guys that I was looking at is uh, Taguchi here. Where's Taguchi at? So Taguchi's still on the board. He should be here for our second round pick. But let's just focus on... Let's just focus on what we have right now. So... Let's see, a lot of these guys that we have scouted right now are projected to be really, really far away. So that's not very promising. And out of everybody, this Ernest Crespo, he looks like he could be a stud too. He's not fully scouted. He was on my board, but he looks like a stud too. So I think I'm going to take him. Ernest Crespo, welcome to the squad. And now we get round two. I got to be careful not to press X and just press uh, square. I think round two is where we take Taguchi. Because Taguchi looks like an absolute beast. and I, I want to have him. I would be ashamed if I didn't take Taguchi. So let's take uh, Tarahito Taguchi with the second pick in the, th in the... Well, the third pick in the second round, I should say. And now we have uh, round three. Here we go. I'm liking what our draft is looking like here. Now is where we're getting to the guys that are going to take forever. So this is where the scouting comes into play. Now, if we take a look at the depth, we could use... Uh, we're pretty good on catcher. We could use a, another first base prospect. That could certainly be something we go for, which is maybe an Enrico Coronado. He could be a possible option for us. Or we need probably another... Uh, maybe another shortstop prospect wouldn't hurt to have on the squad. And James Mantle could be that guy. The outfield obviously is a, a need, but I didn't really do my scouting on outfield because it just doesn't look that good. I mean, hello. Pedro Gomez, he's not scouted at all, but those numbers, those, those numbers look good. And then we've got David Rosario or Rosado. Doesn't look that great. Hmm. I don't really know where to go. I'm, I, I like the three picks that we've taken, though. We took three 80 potential guys. Are they going to be 80 potential? I don't know. We're probably not going to take any more starting pitching. I wish I would have done a little bit better scouting on relief pitchers, because relief pitcher we certainly could use. All the good closing pitchers are gone. Catcher, I'm fine not taking, at least not right now. Um, George Guzman... Could be a good power guy. Who's the best power guy left? Who's the best power guy left? Carlos Cortez, catcher. Uh, first baseman Pedro Franco has got has got good power. So there's only a couple. I mean, this Carlos Cortez guy, he's got really good power. His fielding is needs a little bit of work. Carlos Cortez could be an interesting one. Maybe we take a flyer on him. We'll either take Carlos Cortez... Or we'll take, 
uh, Enrique Cordero or Coronado. Either one will 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 take. It's just a matter of who I think will be there. I think Coronado is going to be better in the long run. So let's take Enrique Coronado with this pick. Is he going to go? Is that catcher going to go? I don't know if I saw him go or not. Is he still there? Carlos Cortez is still there. So I'll take Carlos Cortez with this pick. So that's good. Ooh, check Kutch win. I was looking at him. All right, now we're into round five. How many more people do we have scouted? A couple catchers scouted. A lot of catchers scouted. Third base, first base. We've drafted all 80 potential guys. Are they really all going to be 80 potential? I don't know. Probably not. Let's see. What else do we have on here? A couple of guys have gotten taken already from the list. Hmm. I was in the process of scouting this guy, Jeff Burrs. I don't think he's going to be that great. I didn't get him all figured out yet. A lot of the second basemen are taken. I don't want to take another catcher. We don't really need to take another pitcher. We don't even have any other pitchers scouted. So I guess I don't really want to take another catcher. It's just not what I want to do. I guess we'll just take a flyer on a third baseman, maybe? We have pretty good third base depth. So maybe we take a flyer on this guy. He's not going to be this good. This Bobby Quintana. He's not going to be an 80 potential guy. But he's got good speed, if that's truly what he has. I mean, it's the fifth round. We might as well take a flyer on Bobby Quintana. That might be our last. Is there only five rounds in the draft? No, there's... Okay, there's a sixth round. Okay, so we took him. Who else should we take? Should we just take another catcher? Nah, we'll take another pitcher. I, I guess we'll take a flyer on a relief pitcher. Uh, who's who's got good potential uh you're you look pretty good uh julio nunez looks better than the other guy that i looked at so we'll take him he's not going to be any good but i just didn't have any scouting left so that is the end of the draft let's go take a look at what we have <sighs> robert suzuki has a potential already i mean i know because he's a blue chipper Ladies and gentlemen, I just drafted my best MLB draft ever. This is what happens when I do scouting. This is what happens. We got Robert Suzuki, who comes in as a 69 overall, nice, with 96 potential. I knew he was going to be a stud. He's an absolute beast. He can't play, or he can't be a two-way player. But he's got 99 velocity out the gate. He needs to work on his control. It could be a little bit better, but he's got 91 breaks, so his stuff is nasty. Then we followed it up by drafting 19-year-old Ernest Crespo, who's also got nasty stuff, but he's got a little bit better control, a little bit better hits per nine. I'm very excited about him. He comes in with B potential. Then we got Tarahito Taguchi, who has great contact right out the gate. 6'3", 219. He's got good vision, good discipline, good fielding. So he's a good fielder. He can only play second base, though, which kind of sucks. But he looks like a beast. Then we got Enrique Coronado, who was a flyer. He comes in as a 51 overall. He really only has durability is his best feature. But he's got 88 potential. He could certainly grow. Carlos Cortez comes in with some decent power out the gate. Nothing crazy. 6'4", 197. He's a 51 overall. So, Tadaguchi's a 73. I didn't even notice that. He's a 73. So, he's going to probably start next season in double A. Bobby Quintana is C potential with 79. Uh, at 79 is the potential. So, he's got C. He could be pretty good. He doesn't really do anything well. But he's six foot 170. So, he's a small guy. But he's pretty fast. 90 or 85 speed, 93 steel, 92 base running aggressiveness. So, he's just going to be like a burner. And then Julio Nunez was another flyer that I took. And he is going to take some time to develop. We knew that. We knew with both of these guys that they were just throwing guys that were going to be developing. But he's got a good arm out the gate. He has decent walks per nine, decent Ks per nine, and good velocity. I think this is one of this is certainly my best draft that I've ever produced in a MLB the show series. This has got me excited. This has got me excited. Let's sign these guys up right away every single one of them is going to be a chicago cougar that is a guarantee welcome to the club 
Welcome to the rebuild, ladies and gentlemen. You are all now officially Chicago Cougar players. Let's take a look around the league and see if there was anybody that we missed out on. So Felix Huerta is not as good as Robert Suzuki. I told you Robert Suzuki was going to be one of the best players in the class. But obviously, uh, Huerta looks really, really good. He looks like an absolute beast. Then you got Benny Mora, or Mori. I knew he was going to be good. I, I scouted him. I, I thought about drafting him. Uh, the Braves did not draft very well. Dominique Vasquez, I don't even think I took a look at him, but I mean, he's got some good stuff. Armando Caruso also has some decent stuff. They drafted okay, not great. Ray Rosado, I took a look at him. Uh, oh, they drafted a 48 overall, or 48 potential guy. That's That sucks for the Mets. Decent stuff there. Raul Cabrera goes to the Phillies. He could be something in a couple of seasons. Then you got Jimmy Lovell. I had him on my board. Jimmy Lovell was certainly on the board, but I thought, obviously, I knew that Suzuki was better. Not by much, but Suzuki certainly looked better to me. Plus, he's younger. Uh, Junior Padilla oh, looks really good. I'll say that. He looks really, really good. Reds did a decent job. The Brewers did not do a good job drafting. Vladimir Samuel, starting pitcher. It was a very good, very deep starting pitcher class this year. Edgar Gomez also looks pretty decent. Not really great, like, in terms of hitting, but he's got decent potential. Uh, Damien Gatlin was the other guy between him and Robert Suzuki that I, I would have drafted. And it looks like we got the better option. So that's good. But Archie Gillian, 98 potential. Okay, Archie, I don't even know if I had you on the list. Did I have him on the list? He might have just flew under the radar. Let me look for Archie Gillian. I don't see Archie's name on here. He must have flew underneath the radar. 98 potential. That is crazy. That is crazy. Good for them. Good for the Diamondbacks. Maybe we try and trade for him. <laughs> DeAndre Nichols or Nicholas. Uh, oh, they got a, an 88 potential guy in the last round. David Pla Plantney? Plantney? I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he looks okay. Uh, Derek Lopez. I scouted, but I didn't really feel like I wanted to take him. They got Jeffrey Mercer, and they got uh, Milo Zamora. Or Milo Zamora. Teddy Rodriguez for the Orioles looks kind of good. Then you go to Rick Rose, who I also thought about taking. Uh, the Yankees did not draft well. The Rays did not draft well. Casey Cordero we talked about. Uh, the White Sox didn't draft well. The Guardians drafted a, an A potential guy, but he's going to take a long time to get there. Uh, Nate Higgins, who I thought about, he was on my board. He was on my board. Looks to be pretty decent. The Royals got a couple of good guys. Felipe Hernandez. The Twins got Chris Moda. Okay. Then you got the Astros, you got Royce Caldwell for the Angels, and then we're back to us. So we got the second highest rated player in the entire draft. I will take that, or the highest potential rated player in the draft. I will take that all day, every single day of the week. That's huge. That's actually massive. Okay, so I'm happy about that. We've signed all of our guys, so that's good. We signed all of our rookies for next season and now we are going to be going to do some triple a double a action here let's see when is the next time that yamamoto pitches on the fourth against springfield okay so we'll get there we'll get to the fourth and we won two of three in the month that's pretty good james caprillian's killing the game he's five and oh right now that's awesome jack lighter's getting lit up and now we go to Yamamoto. His pitching performance is right here. We're going to pitch with him in double A. So let's uh, let's do that. Yeah, let's pitch with him. Play the, Actually, we're going to... Should we pay, play the full game? Yeah, we'll play the full game with quick counts on, I guess. Play the full game. We're going to go to the Rock Hounds. We're the Midland Rock Hounds. We'll play here. Quick counts on. Yamamoto's on fire right now. He's 5 and 3, 277 ERA. All right, all right. Let's go with uh, Yamamoto. McDonald will probably play with a little bit later. Maybe we'll get another uh we'll get another roundup. Maybe we'll do a player lock with him towards the end of the season since we're probably not going to be in the playoffs. So that's probably what we'll do. We'll do a player lock with McDonald 
a little bit later. But I want to play with the entire lineup here because I think we got some pretty decent players. So let's, uh, can you play other positions? You can play third base and first base. Nick Allen's pretty tired. Um, okay, let's see. Jonah Bride can play other positions. He can play second base, third base. Carlton Raymond can play third and right. I want to play with Carlton Raymond because he I feel like he's pretty good. So let's put him in somewhere. He can play first, third, and right. So first, third, and right field. Uh, okay, so Jonah Bride can play second and third. Steve Calderon can play third. Let's have Jonah play second. We'll have Carlton Raymond come in and play third. Okay. I like what I'm seeing right now. I like what I'm seeing right now. Carlo Perez, I want to I want to get to play with. So he can play outfield positions. What's his power look like? Can he be a DH? He cannot be a DH. He's a speed guy. So let's uh let's get him in for, for Mickey McDonald up here. He'll be the leadoff guy. He doesn't look that great, but he'll be the leadoff guy. Then we can get how should I work this lineup? probably have who's our best power guy we don't really have a big time power bat except for carlton raymond so he'll bat fourth we'll have cruz bat nine then we'll have nick allen can bat second doesn't really matter jonah bride can bat third then raymond no then walker then bride then soderstrom then Suttersfield, Buddy Reed. Okay, that's how we'll work it. And we'll jump in and we'll play this game. Yamamoto on the mound. Let's go see how the double A team plays. And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Minor League Baseball from the double A level coming up. It's the Springfield Cardinals taking on the Midland Rockhounds. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about to get started, and today's starter, Yamamoto, and singing, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yoshinobu Yamamoto on the mound, and we get to see what he's got. I'm very excited to see what he's, what he's throwing with, what he's working with here against the Springfield Cardinals, and... That's uh, not a good start. I don't think that's Yamamoto's fault. That's more my fault. Three-two count, and uh, okay, Yamamoto's getting lit up here. That that home run was more my fault. I put the circle change in a bad spot. Two-one count to Arnez. He's gonna pop that one to shallow right. Cruz is gonna just miss it. Damon Cruz doesn't have the speed. And it's two on, no outs. Pinch runner for Delvin, Delvin Perez. Did he get hurt? He might have got hurt on that. And that's going to get there again. We've got bases loaded. Yamamoto is lit up so far. I'm not, I'm not liking this. He's pitched so well in simulation. Why is he struggling with my placement here? All right, couldn't get the double play. Tried to get the double play, couldn't get it. 1-1 one, one count to LJ Jones. Oh, that's a beautiful pitch right past him. Let's go slider. Yamamoto smashes it to center. Reed is underneath it, but there's no way I'm throwing him out. So we'll just throw to the cutoff, man. No way I'm getting him out. That's okay, though. That is okay. Patrick Romeri. Oh, he's got a good fastball. I will give him that. He's got a really good fastball. No strike out there, but Soderstrom's right there to get it, and we get out of the inning. Not the ideal way to start the, the game, but it is what it is. And now we start with Carlo, per Carlo Perez. One-two count to him, and Perez will ground it to third base. He's got some good speed. We just got to get him on base to find out. 
Allen. Nick Allen. He's fifth in the all-star voting for shortstops. I'll take it. Arihara is on the mound for the Cardinals. And that's going to be a base hit for Nick Allen. Good job, Nick. Jordan Walker, baby. He's got some decent power. I want to see it here. No? Okay, okay. Not going to get anything there. Fastball a little bit too low. One, two count to him. He's going to lift that to left field, but he's going to be caught. I didn't really put the PCI where I really wanted to get it. That is all right. Oh, Carlton Raymond. I'm excited about him. I'm excited about you. And you need to prove me right. That was such a good pitch, though. He put that slider right where I wanted it, and I didn't hit it. All right, we enter the second. Hopefully, it's a better second inning than it was a first inning. One-two count from Yamamoto. Here comes the slider. Doesn't get him chasing. Kind of hoping that he would. This guy's big. And that's going to get through. Okay. That's not what I wanted. That is not ideal at all. Scott Hurst to the plate now. That's going to be double play opportunity. Walker to second to Allen. Got the double play. That's how you recover. That's how you recover. Kramer Robertson, I think, is the guy who hit the home run. Ooh. Great pitch. Let's see if we get a strikeout here. First strikeout of the day. Oh, he just... Whoa, Soderstrom. Why are you diving like that, my guy? Luckily, it didn't cost us anything, but... Jeez, he, like, jumped through the roof on that one. Jonah Bright hitting 301 on the season so far. And we're going to hopefully add to that. No, we won't. We will fly out to left field on that one. Now we got Soderstrom. He was up in the big leagues last year for a little bit. And now he's back down in double A. That's a fumble. Get there. Couldn't get it. Couldn't beat it out. Not super fast. Okay, Jake Suttleson. Suttleson? I think is how you say his name. Nope, not swinging at that. He's got 29 RBIs on the season, though. That's pretty cool. Good for him. I'm swinging at that for sure. I shouldn't have swung at that for sure. I, sh I shouldn't have swung at that for sure. It looked good. This is the guy that came in. I think their other guy got hurt when he uh, dove into second base. I think he injured himself. So Perez comes in. He will ground out to Jonah Bride. And we get him out. Good job, boys. I like this guy's batting stance. He's really crowding the plate. 2-1 count to him. Arnez. Geraldo Arnez or Geraldo? Maybe I'm guessing it's Geraldo. 2-2 two, two count to him. 44 pitches. Now 45 pitches for Yamamoto. Got to get that control down, my guy. Got to get that control down. Only two home runs on the year. Hits the change up. Jonah Bride's there. And he will get him out. Good job. Good solid play right there. Ali Sanchez. Ooh, how is that not a strike, ump? How is that not a strike? That's right where I needed it to place it. Ooh, gets past Raymond. Good hit. That was a hard hit pitch. But I don't know how that wasn't a strike. 2-2 two -two count to Donovan, and he will send that one right back up the middle to center field. And they're starting to rally here. Yamamoto's kind of up and down. He's got potential. I can see the potential here. But he is... Get foul. Thank you. But he is getting uh, kind of lit up here. LJ Jones swings that. He'll ground that to Allen, who will go to first base. And will get out of the inning, but... I don't know. I'm a little bit worried here. Buddy Reed hitting 294 on the year. He's going to pop that to shallow right field. And he'll get a base hit. I'll take it. Any base hit is a good base hit. Good job, buddy. 
Damon Cruz, one of the guys I'm most excited about in the double A system. Let's see what we can do with him. I really like that pitch, but I should have I should have swung at it. It is a 2-2 count, no one out. And I swung. I shouldn't have swung. That was a ball. Ah, that was a walk. Why did I swing at that? Carlo Perez. Or is it Perez? I don't know. It's something. He has a name. What a what a catch at third base. What a catch. Wow, okay. Nick Allen's up now. That's a crazy catch. And Allen will fly this one out to left field, and we will go down. All right, not what I was expecting from the inning, but what can you do, really? I don't know how long Yamamoto's going to go. I'll let him go six if it's possible. I feel like six is a, is a good a good range for a pitcher to go if it allows him to. Who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> Come on, Blue. You got to give me something. I can't be doing this. <laughs> We're at home. Give me some sort of call here. Come on, Yamamoto. Oh, he was out in front of that way, way bad. 3-2 count. He gets that one, fouls it away. Can I gas him with this? I throw some heat. Yamamoto gets him to pop up to first base. Walker will be there. That works. I was going to try and go for a strikeout, but I'll take a fly out to, or a pop out to, to outfield territory. Scott Hurst. He will chip that one foul. And we will go circle change. And hopefully get out of the inning. Or, yes! Nick Allen, baby. That's why we brought you back. Jordan Walker. I'm really upset that I missed that first pitch. But I didn't miss that one. Jordan Walker with a base hit. Good job, Jordan. I'm seeing potential from some of these guys. There's certainly potential here. Carlton Raymond, I got a really good pitch that I just missed. That slider was really good. Come on, Raymond. I know you got that power in you. Unleash the beast. 3-1 count to him. And they're going to walk him. Okay. I'll take a free bag. I will take a free bag. Jonah Bride up. He's got that old school feel to him. He plays with no batting gloves. I love it. Old school feel. And that's going to be a, uh, a ball. 2-1 count to him. Is he going to try and get me? He is. Jonah Bride will send that up the middle, but it's stopped by Perez. And it'll be a double play. So the backup that they brought in to replace the injured guy comes in and makes a diving double play. Very impressive. That is not what I was expecting. I was expecting an RBI. I thought that was going to get up the middle. But Soderstrom will fly out to right field, and we won't get anything from that. Ah, oh, we had such a good thing going there. I felt good about that, too. Finally. It's about time you give me a call on, that, on the line like that. Nobody's chasing that slider. I'm not sure why. He chased the circle, though. I don't know how he made contact with it. Oh, he just popped it over Raymond's head. That is annoying. He just got it over the third baseman. Can we get a double play? Yes, we can. Walker to Allen. Got it. Double play. Good job. Good job, boys. 83 pitches for Yamamoto. Cruz, you... Uh, he's not going to get there in time. 1-2 count to, pair, er, to Arnez. Go for the slider. Didn't have to. Slider perfectly placed. And Yamamoto, Yamamoto's got five down. Sottleson is up to the plate. Lead off man in the inning, and he will fly that to left field, and it will be caught. We're not getting lucky, really. I'm just not getting lucky with any of these hits. I feel like I'm making decent contact. 
but I'm just not making, I'm not getting lucky. Oh, that slider could have been dangerous if I would have pulled the PCI up to where I wanted to. I thought it was going to drop though, and it did not. It stayed right where it was. All right, Damon Cruz. Ah, oh, what a sinker. What a sinker that was. Man, that was a good pitch. He got me looking. Come on, Yamamoto. I really don't want to get you the loss, but it looks like you're going to. That's what it's going that way. Or at least a no decision. Right back up to him. He will get that out at first base. He's pitched very well since probably around the, the second inning, maybe the third inning. He's pitched really well. He's kind of like calmed down a little bit, gotten his nerves under under his belt, and he's made some really good pitches. That first inning, he got rocked. Very unfortunate. LJ Jones, he's almost up 100 pitches. LJ will pop that to foul territory. Will Walker get there? Oh, just barely. Walker almost got there. The slider, he will make contact, send that to Damon Cruz in right field, and we'll get out of the sixth. Oh, that's so frustrating, man. That's so frustrating that that he got beat up like that. Okay, let's go with... Let's go with Mariano Rivera. Might as well. Might as well. The reincarnation of Yankee legend. Oh, what a hit. What a hit. He's got the speed. Carlo Perez with a double to lead off the sixth. That's what I want to see, Carlo. Perfect, perfect. 1-1 one, one count to Nick Allen. I could try and steal, but I don't really feel comfortable doing that. 2-1 count to Nick. Good job, Carlo. Exactly what I wanted to see from you. Nope, not swinging at that. Good eye. Good eye. 3 1 count. I'm swinging. I shouldn't have. It was going to be a strike anyway. I shouldn't have swung at that, though. That was a bad idea. One out. Runner on second. Jordan Walker's up. He got a single last time. Come on, Jordan. Don't, don't swing at that. Take what your mama gives you. Come on, Jordan. You got this. No, that's certainly not a pitch to take or swing at. 3-1 count to Walker. Maybe he's trying to pitch around him so he can get a double play opportunity. And they're going to call that a ball. Thank you, Blue. Finally, he gives me a call. It's about time. But Carlton Raymond to the plate. One of my favorite prospects. I'm going to send Carlo to third. That's a really short porch in right field, so I was hoping that might have enough distance. Come on, Jonah. I know you got an RBI in you. You were denied an RBI last at bat. I know you got one in you. He does! Jonah Bride with an RBI, and it might be two! It might be two! No, no, I can't send him. That would have been dumb. But we are not going to get shut out. Yeah, Jonah! Good job. They're going to keep uh, Arihara in. Soderstrom is at the plate. And he will get a slider for a ball. Come on, Soderstrom. Give me something I can work with. That's something I can work with, but I was ahead of it. That was such a slow circle change. I was not expecting such a slow circle change. That's going to get through. Not really. Ugh. That should have gotten through. That could have tied the game. All right, I got to take him out. It's time to put in Mariano Rivera. Has had a decent season. Come on, Mariano. Let's see what you got. What are you working with? That's a weird uh, windup that you have. But it works. It gets somebody out, so I'll take it. I'm expecting you to go maybe two innings if everything goes well, and we'll bring in uh, Ohada to end the game. 
just so I can see some of our big time guys because these two guys are our top 50 prospects. Well, all three of oh, what a pitch! All three of them. Yamamoto was, Rivera is, and so is our catcher Ohada. He's uh, they're all top 50 prospects. Ooh, I'm liking Mariano. He's got some control. I'm liking this one two count to Scott Hurst, and he hits that foul. Let's see if he can handle the change up. Low and away. He can. Raymond fumbles it. Recovers. Still gets him out. Good job, Carlton. I can't do the Carlton. Jake Suttleson. Ooh, I kind of wanted to go for that, but I, it would just been like a ground out or something. All right, they are warming guys up. I didn't swing. I tried to check swing that. He's only thrown 83 pitches. Buddy Reed's tall. I didn't realize how tall he was. And he's going to get some decent contact on that Buddy Reed. He's taking two. Yeah, buddy. All right, buddy. Good job. Yeah. And they're going to take Arihara out, and they're going to bring in Jake Walsh. One, two count to Damon Cruz. Can Damon Cruz tie the game? Yes, Damon Cruz can. Go, 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 go. Damon Cruz will tie the game. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, boys. And now Carlo comes to the plate. He just had a double last at bat. Oh, I was ready for it, but I was way too early. Carlo sends that one to left center. It's going to be deep. I'm probably going to send my man here. Go, go, go. Ah, I was baking on that being an uh, off target pitch. It was not. It was right on target. That's going to go to Robertson right field. Cruz fumbles a little bit. Just keeps it in front of him. Good job. Hey, at least we tied the game. I'll take that. That leadoff guy is really good. Whoever it is. Robertson or whatever his name is. I don't even know, but he's pretty good. At least he's been hitting me. 3-2 count to Arnez. He sends that to right field. Cruz is underneath it. I'm liking Damon Cruz. I like a lot of these guys. We got some good players. I like Buddy Reed. He's good. Ooh, beautiful first pitch there. Let's try and strike him out here. One, two count. Fastball. Didn't get him. Let's go slider down low. But Carlton Raymond's there. All right. I'm liking what we're doing here. I'm going to get Miguel Ojada ready to, to go, but I also will get... Uh, Ruiz stretching and tossing just in case. Nick Allen to the plate. Has some good walk-up music. And Nick Allen will get that to left center. Nick Allen with a double. What a leadoff double. Was that the third leadoff double we've had in this game? It might be. Good job, Nick. And now we get Jordan Walker to the plate. They shouldn't have taken out Ari Arihara. Should have kept in him and not bring in Jake Walsh come on Walker be the hero that I know you can be be the hero Ooh, what a curveball I thought that was gonna end up a lot higher than it did three two count to Walker no outs runner on second Walker will foul that off really very early again Come on, Walker. You got this. That should have been a, a walk. That's a walk, Juice. Come on. What do we got now? Ah! That didn't look good. It didn't look good. So I didn't swing. That looked really good. Carlton Raymond go go Carlton Raymond 
It's a short porch. I will give him that. But Carlton Raymond sends that ball yard, and it's a two-run home run. My cord keeps getting stuck on my chair. That's why I'm bending over like that. Carlton Raymond. I knew I liked him. Boom. What a curve on that ball. Mm, just got through. I will take that all day, twice on Sundays. And Jonah Bride. Ooh, Jonah almost went yard there. Jake Walsh has struggled since entering this ballgame. And that's going to be sent right back up to center field. Good job for Jonah. Man, this is definitely turned around. I'm happy with this double A team. I'm liking how we're playing. And they take out Jake Walsh. They bring in Zach Thompson. 2-2 two -two count to Soderstrom. One down, one on first. 3-2 count. All right, we'll see what can happen here. Oh, I was... Ugh, ugh. Ugh. I'm sorry about that. I did not mean to swing that early. <laughs> I don't even really know what I was thinking. Ooh! That's destroyed! Ah! It had the power, it just didn't have the height. Carlton Raymond gets it over. And now we bring in Ohada. Miguel Ohada will come in. I think that's how you pronounce the name. I don't even know. But he will come in to save this one. Oh, it's Ojeda. Miguel Ojeda trying to close this one down. He has a pretty similar windup to Mariano Rivera. 2-2 two -two count to Donovan. He will get that to left field, but Carlo Perez is right there. That's one. What a second half of the game that we had. Absolutely crazy. LJ Jones 0-2 on the day. And he will get a hit. That'll fall in the right field. But now we've got an easy double play opportunity. Don't worry. we got an easy double play. Patrick Romary, or Romary, he's going to not get a double play. Okay, that's okay. No big deal. No big deal. There it is. There's the double play. Jonah Bride to Nick Allen. And there's the win. What a comeback from this team. Big time. I'm very impressed with this double A squad. Yamamoto doesn't get the win, but still. We played good. We started a little rocky. Rivera gets the win. Ohada gets the or Ojeda gets the save. Carlton Raymond's the player of the game. I'm very happy about this team, man. I am very happy. I like the way that we're building it. And now. We're not done yet. We got AAA action. I'll see you guys there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here in AAA country. The Aviators are taking the field, and Yamada makes the first play of the game. We are seeing Luther Curtis, who is one of our top 50 prospects at starting pitcher. Very curious to see how good he pitches. The Aviators are on a little bit of a losing streak, you could say. I think we haven't won a game in about a week. <laughs> so we're on a little bit of a losing streak down here in AAA. But we get to see a lot of our young guys that I'm excited about possibly coming up here and making a difference in the, the big league club. One of them being Luther Curtis, who could certainly make an impact if he needs to. 1-1 one, one count to Jemai Jones, and he will put that into right field. Joe Adele's right there to field it. They're not going to test... They're not going to test uh, third base there. 1-1 one, one count to Lewin De Or is it Lewin? Oh, that's a ball? Oh, I don't know about that. Ooh, that's right back up to Curtis, and he will easily field this one to first base. We get out of the inning quick. All right, now let's take a look at some of our big boys at the plate. Willie Rodriguez. Usually DH is for us, but I have him playing second base today so that we could see... Brett Batty, who can only play first base, so we had to get him in here. And Lou and uh, what's his face? Willie Rodriguez will put that right up the field to center field. 
and lead off hit first hit of the game i'll take it big time play good job willie and now we get tyler ramirez Tyler Ramirez. There's a couple of guys on the lineup that I'm not like big fans of. We could certainly move on from them. But and Tyler Ramirez is one of them. So I mean there's it's him and then there's one guy at the bottom. The outfield in in Triple A could use some work. That's for sure. Here he is. <sighs> Tetsudo Yamada. Let's see how good he is. 247 on the year. He's leading second base All-Star. He's probably going to be an All-Star. We'll see how good he is. He's going to ground that out, but it's a bobble. He's going to beat it out. He bobbled it at second base there, and Yamada will get on. And now we get Murakami. Third base and Murakami hitting 258 on the year. Come on, Murakami. Nope, that's a good take. Good take. Signed out of Japan. One of our international free agents. And I do want to mention that we will be adding the 2023 draft prospects from real life or at least the top ones i shouldn't have swung at that that probably would have been a walk i will add drew jones i will add kumar Ro uh, kumar rocker i will add those kind of guys to this next off season uh when we load into year number three those guys will be on teams now maybe we assign one of them i don't know it's all, it's all debatable. Who knows what's going to happen? Murakami with a great fielding play there. But I will let, I'm going to let you know now that those guys, at least those top three guaranteed, will be in the, the organizations. Maybe the organiza organizations that drafted them in real life, or they'll be in any or I guess any organization it doesn't really matter. I guess if they're not in our team, they'll be in the team that drafted them. So like if I if I choose to draft Kumar Rocker then he'll be on our team but other guys like drew jones will be on the team that drafted him which i think is the who drafted drew i don't even know but i just wanted to let you guys know that those guys will be in the the franchise next year all right we get to see nick prado at the plate one of the guys that we got in a trade last year excited about him and nick prado will ground out to first base not the greatest start there Here's Brett Batty. Or Bre it's Brett Beatty. Okay, I need to get that down. It's Brett Beatty. 2-1 count to him. He was a part of that Francisco Lindor Pete Alonso trade that we sent Frankie Montes to the Mets. He was the third piece to that. We got a lot for Frankie Montes. I'm still in shock a year later at how much we were able to get for Frankie Montes. I didn't think he was that valuable. But I guess they, the Mets might have wanted to unload Lindor's contract, so maybe it's not as a uh, fleece of a deal as I as I initially think it is. Oh, he's giving me a pitch to hit. 3-2 count. And Beatty will send that to right field. It'll get down. And Beatty will get a base hit. All right. And now Shea Langoliers, he's had some major league at-bats. I think we've even had an at-bat with him in a game last season he's certainly been on the major league club for a lot of last season and he will ground to a double play to end the second inning that's not how i wanted to end the second inning i was hoping we'd end the second inning with some runs but that's not what's going to happen luther curtis will start the third we've started this game off a lot better than when we started the other game off in double a so i'm happy about that and we will not strike him out there because he chips that foul. And we'll go circle change. Luther Curtis gets him swinging. Hassel goes down. I'm very impressed with, with uh, Luther Curtis so far through two and a third. He looks like he can control his stuff. He looks pretty good. He's probably going to finish the year down here unless September call-ups come. If September call-ups come and he's having a really good... Uh, second half of the season maybe i call him up to the big league club but i probably won't i'll probably call up some older guys because who knows if these guys are going to be in the playoffs or not 
And I don't want to take away from their success by bringing somebody up to the big league club when the big league club isn't really going to do much. It's not like we're going to the postseason or anything. So, 2-1 count to Joe. Also got in a trade. And he's second in the all-star voting in right field. So we're going to have a lot of all-stars in AAA. That's pretty good. That means everybody's playing well. Joe Adele puts that in left field. <sighs> not hard enough. I thought he might have had a home run there. Not quite enough power underneath it. And this is the other guy. This and um, the left fielder. I forget what his name is. But, oh, okay. So he gets a base hit. But him and the left fielder are two guys that are kind of on the fringe. Maybe I keep them, maybe I don't. I don't know. I haven't really fully decided yet. But he got a double, so I'll take it. And now we get to see Willie Rodriguez up to the plate again. Got a leadoff single, first time he was up. He will fly that over to left field. I'm going to send the man. Get there. Boom, Willie Rodriguez. A double in an RBI. And we lead. Good job, Willie. That is one strong Willie. That's going to, wow. Tyler Ramirez is the other guy that I was talking about. With Shane Selman. What a what a hit. He was ready for that. Talk about the hot corner. Come on, Yamada. I know you got some potential in you. Show me it. Uh, yes! That's going to get down. And that's going to be an RBI for Yamada. Boom! We score two in the inning. That was a lucky one there for Yamada. And now we get to Munataka Murakami. Out of the two, ooh! Out of the two, he's more of the power hitter, Murakami is. I didn't swing. I didn't swing, but I did swing. I didn't swing, but I did swing. 3-2 count to David Peralta. He will fly that to right field! I hit the button on accident. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I accidentally moved my thumb and I hit the, the dive button on Joe Adele. I'm sucking something. I want to suck something so bad right now. God, that sucks. Big strikeout. Good job, Luther Curtis. And now he's going to ground that to first base. So we're going to survive for now. There's still the, the threat of him scoring. Hopefully that goes away here. Luis Campasano. He will get that to left field. Ramirez! Thank you. Tyler Ramirez had enough speed to get there. And somehow my idiotic dive doesn't come back to bite me. Usually that does. I was able to survive it there. Nick Prado will ground out to first base, who will give it to the pitcher. All right, not good, not good. Brett Beatty. Oh, that's a really high fastball. He's putting that way up in the zone. Okay. 0 for 5 with two strikeouts in his last game. Brett Beatty did not play well. Let's just say that. But he will send that to center field. It'll be caught. It'll be caught. I wish this wouldn't get caught in the bottom of that. All right, Shea Langoliers. Come on, Shea. You've hit Major League Pitching before. You can hit AAA Pitching. There we go. That was a good cut. Good cut, Shea. Good cut, Shea. He heard me. He heard me. Let's go, baby. Good job, Shea. That's what I'm talking about. That didn't really feel that good off the bat. Boom! It really did not feel that good off the bat, but it goes over the wall, and that's all that matters. 3-0 lead in the bottom four. Ooh, very good pitch there. Very good pitch. Can Joe Adele go back-to-back? -back? That would be pretty cool. Pretty cool if he could. Ooh, I missed it. I don't think that would have been a home run pitch, but I missed it, whatever it would have been. Whatever it would have been. 
Oh, here we go. He's going to give me a third straight. And that's going to get into left center. And Joe Adele will get on base. Let's go. Joe Adele. And I think I might steal just for the, the memes. For the lulls. Oh, he's going to pick me off. Oh, he's back. Good job, Joe. Getting back. I am still going to try and steal here. Don't throw back again. You don't know what I'm doing. Go, Joe! Go, Joe! Yeah! One-two count to Shane Selman. He's one for one on the day. I think he had an RBI. Two-two count now. Hitting 217 with runners in scoring position. Or risps. Horrible pitch. 3-2 count. And Willie's coming up. You don't want Willie to come up. That is for sure. But he's going to allow it. Walk Shane Selman. And Willie Rodriguez. Two singles and an RBI. Come on, Willie. Ah! Willie Rodriguez will go down fighting. But Shea hit the home run. Did not expect it, but I, I, I'll take it. Top of the fifth. 1-1 one, one count now. Is now a 1-2. We'll go with the curveball, see if we can strike him out here. And he will send that to center field. Selman's back. Selman's got it. Good job, Shane. Augustine Ruiz up. Ooh, great pitch. Oh, pitcher getting tired, so Curtis doesn't have the stamina, really. I didn't realize he was getting so tired. I should have paid more attention to his stamina. He's got to go five innings, though. I'll get somebody warming up just in case. I'll get Basil Cabrera, because he was one of... Basil Cabrera was one of our draft picks. I forgot about that. He was one of our draft picks. I will get him warming up just in case, but I want him to finish five innings. And he will get through that one. Great circle change. Luther Curtis, I've been very impressed with. And that will go to left field. So Luther Curtis will finish five innings. All right, that's a good outing for him. Five shutout innings. Very impressed. Very, very impressed. Tyler Ramirez to the plate to lead off the inning. The bottom half. And that will get to caught by first baseman. Yamada to the plate. What do you got, Yamada? He's got a little blooper to left or to left field. I'll take it. That's two for three for Yamada. Big time play. Good job, my guy. And now we got Munataka Morikami. And he will smash that to right field, but it will be caught. <laughs> I made that probably sound like it was going to be a home run. It was just a simple fly out. But Nick Prado to the plate. Nick Prado. Oh, a little pitch out. Okay. They're a little worried about Yamada's speed. They think he's got a, a little bit of wheels on him. Prado will smash that to right field. That's going to be a single. Nice base hit. Runner on second and first. Two outs. They're taking the pitcher out. It's going to be Domingo Tapia. For Brett Beatty. Okay. 2-1 count. Come on, Beatty. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. He will fly that to center field, and that is going to be caught. He let me down. But we get to see Basil Cabrera now for a couple innings, which is good. All right, let's see Basil. 31 games, 4-4 four and four record. All right, Basil, let's see what you got. Oh, he's got gas. He got a little bit of heat behind that, that fastball. 
No, Prada, why'd you jump? And Adele jumped too. I think something might be going on with my analog stick because I did not do it that time. I did it the first time with Joe Adele, but not that time. 2-2 two, two count, and that's a straight heater. An absolute beamer right past him. One count, one one count to Peralta. Oh, he reached 100. Cabrera is throwing straight fire. Selman able to get underneath that one. And two down, top six. I'm liking Basil Cabrera. He's throwing some mustard. Jemai Jones. Ooh! How do you compete with that? I got a relief pitcher that throws 99, baby. Basil Cabrera. Throwing some absolute mustard. Shea Langoliers hit a home run last at bat. Can he do two? Is that going to get down? That's getting down. Oh! Why couldn't that have gone past? It might have to hit off his glove. That could have been a triple. But Shea gets on base. Joe Adele. He got on last at bat. He will ground into a double play this at bat, though. Ooh, nice fielding. C.J. Abrams showing why he's a top 50 prospect right there. Very impressive, C.J. Very, very impressive. Shane Selman. And I don't know what I was swinging at there. <laughs> That's a little embarrassing. You didn't see anything. You did not see anything. And I... Ah, that was a rough at bat. Sorry, saying, I, sorry, Shane. I did not mean to screw you up like that. That was a horrible at bat. Two one count to Diaz. It's Lewin. That's a weird way to pronounce that. I always thought it was Lewin. Whatever. Lewin Diaz. And he will get that. Ah, oh, Willie Rodriguez can't get there. Why aren't you playing first? He's super slow. Two one count to Campusano. Throwing heat, as always. Let's go splitter this time. 92 on the splitter. How do you hit? Pitcher is injured. I guess we'll go Austin Pruitt. Basil Cabrera hurt his arm on the splitter. I cannot believe what we've just witnessed here. Basil Cabrera has injured himself throwing a splitter 92 miles an hour. No wonder it was so inaccurate, because he hurt himself on the throw. Hopefully he doesn't have to have, like, Tommy John or something. That's going to be horrible, because I was very impressed with Basil Cabrera in this first inning or, in, or so. Oh, no. Now I'm now I'm really worried. I don't know what's going to happen with Basil. Don't hurt my Basil. That's going to get down. Ah! I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that at all. I should have just played the ball and gotten the regular out, but I went for the dive, or I almost went for the dive, but I went for the big catch, and I, I shouldn't have done it. Oh, uh, luckily we're gonna, no, what it? Can I still get there? Yes, my analog stick is busted for some reason. It's making me dive when I don't wanna dive, but luckily Murakami was able to recover. All right, let me get another guy warmed up. Let me get Doyle Atkinson. Let me stretch and toss him. We'll get Manuel stretching and tossing too, just to get ready. Willie Rudder gets two for three on the night, and he will go two for four. Okay, okay. Two for four, not a big deal. He's had a good day. Willie Rudder has had a really good day. Tyler Ramirez, 0 for three. I was hoping he'd have a little bit better day. 2-2 two, two count. Come on, Tyler. I need something big from you. Here's your opportunity. And that's going to be a double. I think. I'm going to. Get there, Tyler. Get there. Dig, dig, dig. Good job, Tyler. And that brings up Yamada. Tetsu to Yamada. I didn't swing. I didn't swing. Whatever. 
Munitaka Morikami. I need a big home run from you. That's what I want to see. I want to see a home run, but I see a uh, absolute rope to right field. But it's caught. I'll let Austin Pruitt go eighth inning. If worse comes to worse, we'll just bring in that Manuel guy that we have stretching and tossing. One, two count to CJ. And he will get a change up high in the zone. And he'll send that to Joe Adele and right. One down. All right, good job from the boys. Ruiz to the plate. And he will rocket that one to second base. But Willie Rodriguez was there. He's elite. I'm liking what we got in our farm system. I'm liking a lot of these players. I hope you guys are liking them too. I think we've got a good farm system building here. I mean, the the MLB.com thing said that we had one of the best top three farm systems in the majors. So, I mean, we're seeing why. We've got some good prospects here. A lot of top 50 guys. A lot of guys that could be top 50 but aren't really developed yet. And we're just going to get even better because of the draft class that we just brought in for this for this draft that we just did earlier in the episode. Next season's farm system is going to be even better, especially with Robert Suzuki. All right, let me get Doyle Atkinson actually warming up, and then we'll schedule to put him in the game. Doyle Atkinson, another top 50 prospect at closing pitcher. Ooh, Prado will miss that one. Uh, that was not where I wanted to put the PCI, but that's where it goes. Bottom eight, up 3-1. Brett Beatty to the plate. Come on, Brett. Give me something good. That is a uh, foul ball. Not really what I wanted, but whatever. One, two count to him. What do you got for me, Brett? What do you got for me? Ooh, 2-2 two, two count to Brett. Come on, Sam Williams. Throw me something I can hit. Throw me something I can hit. That is not what I can hit. That's going to be a pop-up to second base, and Jemai Jones will get the out. Two outs in the bottom of the eighth. We should be seeing Shea Langoliers had the home run earlier. Oh, that one's toasted. Shea does it twice. A two bomb for Shea Langoliers. That one was just left up in the... That was a meatball. I would have been disappointed if he didn't hit that one out of here. Oh, look at that meatball. Shea just sends that one yard. Good job, boys. And now Joe Adele will send that one to center field, and he'll get on base. Right back up the field. All right, I might even steal a base with Joe now. I know he stole one earlier. Might try and steal another one. We got Shane Selman to the plate. 2-1 count to him. We can afford to take a base here. Go, Joe. Oh, Joe's got it easy. Easy. Good job, Joe. Now let's see if we can put another run in. Or maybe this will be the end. Ooh, I probably should have waited a little bit more on that. I should have been a little bit more patient. Should have been a little bit more patient. That one's going to be center field. Is that getting down? No, it's not. All right, but we got the home run with Shea. His number two. Two home runs for him. I still want my closing pitcher to come in. Doyle Atkinson. 24 saves and 24 opportunities. Ooh. Shea or uh, Doyle Atkinson might be a little bit elite. He might be the next elite closing pitcher in this game. 1-2 count to Jemai Jones. Got him looking like a fool. Looking like an absolute utter fool. 1-1 one, one count to Lewin Diaz. He, th he has a weird windup. He, like, starts slow, and then all of a sudden he, like, ramps up and throws really hard. Watch this. Like, the slow windup, and then just all of a sudden just throws really, really hard. It's a weird windup, but whatever. If it works, it works. If it gets us a bunch of save opportunities, I will take it. That one's going to be right back to Doyle, and he will field it, and perfect. Two down. 
Two down. It looks like we're going to go two for two in the minor league games. Little minor league showcase. 1-1 one, one count to Luis. And that is a two-seamer sent to center field. Selman is underneath it. And that is the ball game. 4-1 for the Aviators. Luther Curtis picks up the victory. Something we couldn't do with uh, the double-A pitchers. But I like this team. This triple-A team's got some good, pe good power, good potential, good speed. I like it. Shea player of the game. Two home runs. Three for four. Luther Curtis went five innings of amazing baseball we did pretty good now let's wrap up the episode basil cabrera sustained an elbow injury but he's only out for a few days so we're just gonna let them rock with whatever they think is right and look at that i told you we hadn't won a game in about a week last game we won was on the fourth so that was a, a pretty big win for us the cougars are 36 and 33 we're on a little bit of a win streak here but we are going to finish the month of June and we'll get to the All-Star break or around the All-Star break. So let's see. The Rays are interested in a, a deal. Drew Rasmussen. I'm not really interested in him. So sorry about that. Oh, the boys are are uh, are winning some games. There's Basil Cabrera back. Okay, we got swept by the Astros. Not swept by the Astros, but oh, we're losing games now. We got swept by the Angels. The Giants are offering me Alex Cobb. I'm definitely not interested in Alex Cobb. All right, let's finish out the the month there we go there's some big wins 41 and 43 we are a very up and down roster we are a very very up and down roster you could say the least all-star break is coming up soon so i will end the video there they are giving me jeffrey ramos 24 year old prospect left fielder for whit merrifield is very intriguing i might come back to that one i'm not going to do it now but I might come back to that one. I'll simulate this last week, uh, one to two weeks for him. And we are struggling a little bit here. Let's finish the series. Six months for Dermis Garcia with a torn ACL. Matt Barnes gets traded to the Rockies from the Red Sox for Jay Williams and Braxton Garrett. All right, we'll simulate the rest of this week and uh, do all the all-star festivities and whatever we have to do in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below what you thought of the prospects, if you, there's anybody that you like, if you what you thought of our draft too. I know it's a little bit of a longer episode, but I wanted to, to do the showcase, the prospect showcase with the, with the minor league system. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.